All right, y'all, so I think I'm pretty good at centering myself in the camera without having to use my phone and look at the app for the GoPro and all this. So I should be like freaking perfect right now, you know what I'm saying? Currently in Milwaukee, had a 5 a.m. report this morning, did uh, La M M uh, LaGuardia to, to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Milwaukee. Had a great crew. Thank the Lord, because the, the crew makes your entire trip. If you have a terrible crew, especially on an early freaking pickup like that, um, it, it could it could it could be a really bad time. So thank the Lord, everyone was cool. I have two more days with these people. I'm on call at the moment, and this is why I have this trip where I don't typically like to do three day trips or or I don't like to be away from home for these amount of days on a domestic trip, just because oftentimes there's too many legs in between. And it's, it's very tiring. And for me, my philosophy with this job is that you want longevity. And with longevity, you need to do, you need to get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. So if you're doing like a thousand legs a day, it's gonna burn you out. You're gonna get extremely tired very fast. You may even start to hate this job. There's certain times that when I've done too many legs, you know what I'm saying? Just, just mm, somebody's gonna get it. Personally, I love early early flights and I love red eyes red eyes are you're pretty much flying through the night so if you leave sometime at 11 o'clock at night you land somewhere like five six seven o'clock in the morning I really like those flights because passengers are typically knocked out and for me what that means is is less stress less headache less work everyone's very docile and just to themselves knocked out you no know, you know it's so late in the night people don't want snacks they don't want anything they don't want to eat so it's it just makes them for a more calm work environment daddy like that i like the peace that it brings whereas th throughout the day everyone the, all the kids are up the anxiety is high at nighttime man people just want to sleep so i appreciate that another beauty though of uh, winter flying in particular is that oftentimes not all of our flights are going to be full so you have a little bit more uh, downtime where you don't have as many passengers so today out of let's say 180 seats we had on our first flight only about 60 passengers <laughs> that was amazing uh, it makes for very not only did we only have about 60 passengers but um, 60 passengers and then not everyone was awake because everyone's knocked out it's too early man they don't have time for all this nonsense they just want to get to where they're going and go to bed so um i love me some winter flying when it comes to things like this um you know you will get lighter loads uh, uh, pause you will have less people on the aircrafts less people just traveling in general which is dope I need to take a nap. I only slept only three hours because I was on call. What, what we have to do is we preference what it is that we want for the next day. Once it shows up on, what would you call it? Once it shows up on the board where people are going to pick up trips and whatnot. So you preface like, hey, this trip comes up on the board and it's um, an LA trip. One leg to Los Angeles, one leg right back home. So now it's a bidding war for everyone who's on call, for everyone who wants, for, for, let's just say for argument's sake, to make it simpler, for everyone who wants that trip, it's a bidding war. And the more senior, senior you are, the easier it is for you to hold that trip or to obtain that trip. And the more junior you are, <laughs> this is when you get those 5 a.m.s, man. I mean, though I've, only, I've been flying two years now, it is still very junior for my base. Again, my base is New York. So um, yeah, I, I was stuck with this trip two leg three leg three leg typically what i do is i'll have a uh, i'll do standby the first day that i i love standby i'll do standby the first day pray not to get used typically i don't i get used i've been doing the math it's about seven out of ten times i will not get used which is amazing so i'll do standby the first day which is you go to the airport sit there for four hours do whatever it is you want to do for four hours you're dressed in your uniform you're ready to go just in case they need you um, at at you know at at worst they'll use you at best you go home but in between sometimes you may have to board a flight so maybe a flight attendant is running a little bit late you have to help them board the flight once the other flight attendant gets there you go but you do have to bring your clothes uh, your your luggage with you just in case that flight attendant does not make it on time sayonara you're going to wherever the heck it was they were supposed to be going um, so I usually do that and then I preference uh, Los Angeles two-day trip which is leave to Los Angeles one day 
come right back the next day and it's so easy i i get paid for three days of work but i only work two legs which is for me is always a come up i like that i'm going somewhere with a friend of mine at the end of april with pavel actually so if we're gonna make that trip happen i gotta move some things around so i wasn't able to preference as the normal way that i would preference so i'm in milwaukee right now uh What else, guys? Um, I know a lot of you guys are actually in training right now. What's crazy to me is I've been hearing how many people in various, um, various, yeah, um, airlines have been getting sent home. Eesh. Like somebody told me in in one airline in particular that about so far 20 people were sent home or something to that effect, right? And this is within the first few weeks. Guys, man, listen, it's, some of you still have social media and you're, and you're, you're struggling with some of your tests. You're not, you know, you're barely passing some of them. If you have to hold an average above a certain amount, if you can't get lower than a certain grade ever, and that make, means that you fail, yeah, delete it. Go, let it go. It's not that serious. People don't need to know where you are 24 seven. It's insane to me that some of you guys that are having issues with, um, with training still have these things going on. Let, let it go. Listen, if you focus for the next couple of weeks, I'm sorry for the next couple of months. Um, yeah, you can, you can, you can do amazing things with your life. So just cut it out, delete, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, all of that. Your family doesn't need to know, your friends don't need to see. Keep in touch with those via text that you truly need to stay in touch with. Otherwise, cut it out, cut it out, man. Every, every moment that you're bored, you shouldn't be texting, you should be going back to studying. I was telling somebody the other day, I literally slept in a three day period one time in training about 12 hours in 72 hours, guys. I slept 12 hours, I was finished i'm talking about dead i i wasn't eating i lost a good 20 pounds when i uh, left to training i was looking emaciated and my family saw me and they were like what the hell's going on that's how you should be not necessarily to that extent but you should be to if you want something new in your life you need to make sacrifices whether it be sleep your your eating habits your your work there's certain things that just need to go. I think it was Beyonce said once that she didn't realize that she didn't she hasn't eaten in the last like day or two or something crazy like that because she was working so damn hard. And you need to make these sacrifices, man, or else you're going home. It's it's crazy to me that some people are actually going home knowing that you can control a lot of the the stimuli around you. You can control it. So why are you making yourself go home, man? This is an opportunity of a freaking lifetime. I'm in Milwaukee right now. Listen, yeah, listen, it may not be Spain, it may not be Portugal, but I am not in the Bronx, I am not in New York right now, I'm not in Manhattan, I'm not in the Upper West Side. Um, and every single day that I get to do this is an absolute blessing. And for you guys to, to, to not take full advantage of the opportunity at hand is bonkers. Wait, one more time, it's bonkers, man. So make sure you, yeah, get on your game, man. This is day one of my three-day trip. I'm dying, I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Uh, but yeah, I'm here, living, I'm good. You know, I have 18 hours in Milwaukee. I'll take it, I'm gonna take a nap, head to the gym. I have to wake up at four in the morning because my pickup's at five but you know what it's not that bad because what's gonna happen everyone on my morning flight's gonna be knocked out you know what that, that works for me it's okay i think i lay over in denver tomorrow i could be absolutely wrong though i don't even know who i am anymore i just finished a 12 hour day 13 hour day pardon me Started off this morning in Milwaukee, from Milwaukee to, damn, I don't remember, man. Milwaukee? Milwaukee? Milwaukee to Minneapolis. Minneapolis to San Francisco. San Francisco to Salt Lake City. I am burnt to a crisp. Woke up at four o'clock this morning. 
got to the hotel over here at 5 p.m. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, yeah. This is what on call can look like sometimes. Som listen, my first on call day, I went to Puerto Rico and I thought I was the man. I was feeling myself. This right here, this is a whole different beast, but it's worth a lot of hours, so it's not bad. I don't. Yeah, so it's not bad. It's definitely doable. I I love one of the girls that I'm flying with. She's one, probably one of my one of my favorite people, and we get along so well. So that she has saved me right now. She doesn't even know it. Um, yeah. Other than that, this is day two, guys. I'm about to hit the gym because I need to. I have uh, my trip coming up at the end of the month. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you already know where I'm going because I think I shot, I did shout it out, made a little video there. If I save that video, hopefully I could plug it in here too. Um, yeah, man, I can't wait. Can't wait to go to that trip. So because I can't wait to go to that trip, I'm gonna go hit the gym right now. It's, it's 29 days till that trip, so I'm gonna go hit the gym off of like I don't know, man. I'm just zero energy, but you gotta make it happen. So go hit the gym, hit these weights, uh, get something to eat, go to bed, man. Um, and this is a shame too, because I'm looking out this window. Salt Lake is pretty damn beautiful. So unlike what I'm used to. That's why for me this is so amazing. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second, but yeah, it's dope. It's dope. And it's only, and today is like 50 some odd degrees. Tomorrow is about 65 degrees. It's like, holy crap. But I leave tomorrow morning at seven o'clock in the morning and I don't get home. Well, this is uh, mountain time, whatever the hell they call it. And I don't get home till uh, 10 PM. So again, tomorrow's another 13 hour day. I don't get home till 10 PM because that's 9 a.m. in New York. I don't get home between, from 9 a.m. is when I start New Eastern time, and I don't land at home till 10 p.m. I'm gonna be freaking beat. I don't even know where the hell I go tomorrow. I can't even tell you, like, where what two legs are before this. I don't know, you start to forget where the hell you go after a while when you do trips like this. It just all becomes a blur. So, four is the maximum they can give you. I'm on three right now, with uh, three legs, but this is, this is brutal, man. Brutal. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. 